I think he did a really good job with the CD. He did. You know, we, we have not seen really anybody complaining about um, who has to face who or, like, people being seated poorly. Yeah, it, it, it was a little – it needed some cleaning up before, but it, they seemed to fix it up pretty well. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job. But, I mean, you know, we have a tournament with this many entrants. There's always yeah. this many entrants. So, I mean, really good job yeah, shout by out to him. Hunter. And uh, – Shout outs to uh, the TOs here running this event, uh, MVG for uh, hosting a stream and uh, <laughs> helping us get on stream. Uh, Smash Studios doing that, helping us do the side stream. So, so I think they're just uh, going straight into it, game one here on Smashville. Yep. Um, Smashville is a very good stage for Villager. Uh, he likes to go off the side uh, with it, basically everything he does. But also, like you were saying earlier, he likes to do it with chip damage. Yeah, pocket. Pocketing those, uh, <laughs> those Pikmin, taking him for his own. Pockets the purple one now, too. So definitely, you know, ha I definitely has some killing power with that one, though. I never really uh, thought about pocketing Pikmin, but that's, that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I, I knew the Pikmin he could pocket. And, yeah. uh, he does have the purple one on deck, so uh, I don't know how strong that one will be. but oh. That's definitely the one you want. Okay, well, that did a lot of knockback, so yeah. had he been closer to the edge, he probably would have killed him. I wonder if he can pocket them out off like a forward smash, too. Uh, probably, because, because I, th I think they're still technically well. a projectile, yeah. Yeah, so I'd imagine you still can. That'd be awesome. Um, coming in with that down air with the purple one, going to get a oh. lot of knockback and a forward air with the purple Pikmin, and Myron taking that first stock. Yeah, Myron uh, already ahead, only taking 106%, but uh, okay. Oh, my gosh, neutral get up. Just red by Renai. Hard, just gets a hard read. And Myron get knocked up. <laughs> off the side. Great hard read right there. So Renai already evens it back up. Oh, and uh, he catches him with the tree. Taking the lead. Double up up air. Up airs. Yeah. Plants another tree, tries to water it, but gets grabbed and has a red Pikmin on him. Um, we'll see what Villager's options are really to deal with Pikmin once he gets them on. I would imagine maybe like neutral air, um, stuff like that. That's your typical option. Um, uh, the tree is going to be, I think, key in this matchup because then you have this big wall in front of you that the Pikmin can't go through. Yeah. And so you get that control of that side of the stage. Trying to grab that Pikmin with a pocket right there. Can't do it. And that white Pikmin racking up so much damage. Oh, yeah. Dangerous Pikmin. Yep. Up air's coming in. Can't find anything with it. There goes the back throw. Sets up the Lloyd, and uh, Byron runs right into it. And Myron had a pretty big deficit right now, about 44%. Yeah, Myron definitely wants those white Pikmin to rack a percent. Yeah. Has two, two, really two of them on deck also, yeah. so already bringing them up to 72% from, like, what, yes. 50? Yeah. Now, they don't have very much kill power, but and they uh, die pretty quick, but they do a lot of damage when they're on you. And the forward air, okay, not, not going to kill. Oh, that my, that my Oh, good good option to kill under the stage and then back around to avoid the bowling yeah, ball. Yeah, good awareness from uh, Myron there. Yep. He's keeping this purple Ooh. Pikmin on deck, and he's using and he it. he takes it. Wow. Very effectively using that down air to send him off to the left. Yeah, off the stage. yeah not getting the spite hitbox, but it doesn't matter because the sour spot, looking like Falcon there, is still killing off the side. Yes, really good options. Good stuff to Myron taking game one off uh, Renai there. So let's see if he can keep this up uh, with the momentum he took that game. All right. Not looking really serious. Renai is just like, yeah, I still got this. Yep. All these Japanese players are always so calm. They really are. Um, they don't. They don't show a whole lot of emotion. You know, that must really help yeah. with like mindset too. Yeah, you kind of keep yourself calm, and uh, then you can adapt a lot easier. Um, and I mean, Renai played that really well. He just got hit by two purple Pikmin off the side of the stage. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. Purple and red Pikmin, man. Those are the best for killing. So. Yep. Even blue if you get a grab, but yeah, blue is really good for grabs. Um, <laughs> oh, he's got the white one on him, and it's already up to 52% right here. Forward air, gonna take it off the side. <laughs> Interesting. Myron shaking his head. Uh, knows that was a, <laughs> a really good call out by Renai right there. Yeah, the tree stalling the the hits from the Pikmin. And oh, gets his stage, stage spike. spike. Did he drop a Pikmin? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure how that the Pikmin went under the stage like that, but I really, I really couldn't explain, one. yeah, how that happened. But you know what? He did it, man. And he was yeah. it back up. And we're only even, a, we're only a minute in. So yeah. It's a really fast game so far. It really is. Um, all right, Renai coming almost back to the stage, but Myron not giving him any kind of leeway. Um, covering every option he has. Up tilt. That's one of my favorite up tilts in the game. I love, I love that animation. Yeah. Broke the uh, balloons, but not a whole lot doing with it. 
All right, throwing out the uh, Pikmin. Trying to find his way in for a kill. All right, he uses a down air to just not get hit by that yep. Pikmin there. But Myron keeping this really even right now with his Olimar. All right, so good off stage situation for for Renai right now. Gets and the, the up air. Gonna take it. RNG turnips. Always so gets those three turnips when he needs them. All right. So moving on to game three here. Uh, very even so far from both of these characters. It's really just who's gotten the best read at the end of the game yeah. on the last hit to take the stock. Um, so player one coaching up Myron right now. Going to take his coaching time, give him some advice. Um, and I'm sure you guys could probably hear that a little bit through the mics. Uh, yeah, we got a rave going on. We got on. a rave going on over there, which is where I'm about to head. Uh, going to wait till the end of this match right here. This will be the last thing we do. About to go party it up. Yeah, I think MVG might still be streaming a couple matches if you want to go check them out after. I think Fatality and Wrath are on stream right now. Sadly, Georgia Boy's duking it out, but I guess one of them has to go terrible. down. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But, you know, hopefully hopefully they'll pull through. But on the bright side, that means at least one of them's got to move on, right? Yeah. You know, so let's, let's try to be optimistic, right? So, uh, game three, running it back to Smashville. Yeah, this stage is good for both these characters. I don't, I don't see a whole lot of a... Uh, a reason to switch. Myron throws Pikmin away right there. I don't think he really wants the yellow Pikmin. They don't really give you a whole lot. They're kind yeah. of average, you know? Yeah. Electric damage, but that's, like, not super effective. This ain't Pokemon. So, <laughs> um, that doesn't really matter. They fly upwards, which is kind of a cool thing, but, I mean, not sure how useful that is. All right, so... Seen here again, both of these players keeping it really even. The Pikmin are really helping out uh, Maya right now, just racking up that percent. Both are just kind of chipping away at each other. Yeah, um, he's doing a really good job with that because Maya's not really getting in with any like traditional attacks, but he's hitting him. Yeah, and I he mean, sniped him with that blue he, Pikmin he right have to. there. Just yeah, Pikmin just do all the work. And actually, I think he threw that white Pikmin like right at the ledge, and it latched on uh, when Renai got back up. But Renai oh. racking up way more damage. Um, yeah. Using the neutral air, covering his options to get back up. Now, he does have the purple one, yeah. so it's pretty heavy, and it's harder to get back to the stage. Yeah, one thing I noticed about Renai that he's oh doing really God. well, since Villager can just be so good off stage because of his recovery and just how floaty he is, really. Like, he's just able to edge guard uh, Almar really well, but yeah. uh, good thing to Myron, he's been staying alive. And good awareness from uh, Renai, too. He went under the stage, uh -huh. didn't go back uh, uh, right away because he saw Myron was probably going to go for an aggressive option, which he did. Right, and he comes back in with an up air of his own and takes sock. Ooh, perfect shield from Myron right there. Yeah. Good stuff on that tree. Yeah, very good. Piece of wood laying on the ground. Nobody's going to grab it. Up air coming in. Can't really convert off of it. And again, we're just seeing Renai try to keep the stage and keep stage control. He's keeping Myron above him and around, and Myron's just trying to play aggressively. Not, Not it yet, but it looked like it was almost it. Yeah. That was a forward air call out right there. He's got the back air uh, on deck. Not looking air for it. doesn't Man. take it yet. But it takes away that yellow Pikmin. Um, and he gets hit by a white one, gets grabbed, and the blue, blue up throw is going to take it. But Omar at 88%. We're dying in a pretty good situation here. Gets the tree up. And again, that's going to give him that half the stage because, uh, you know, Olimar's going to have to try to throw around the tree. Right. But uh, not doing too bad right now. Already racked up, yeah, 40% uh, well, now. That's the thing. You know, Olimar can rack up that damage, um, especially when you get two, three Pikmin on him right there. Already? He's at 62%. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you know it, get a purple Pikmin on deck, and this could be game. And as I say it, here it comes out. We're not looking, can't find any any leeway, no options coming in. Jab, jab, and he finally has Myron off stage where he's been uh, dominant all game. Renai at the ledge. Oh, oh looking for the trap, forced. and he does get it yeah. with the tilt. He forces a roll knowing he was in that perfect position just to get it because any other option besides, well, maybe if he dropped from ledge, he would have been safe. But, but that's, uh, that's yeah. not what's going through your head. You want to get back on stage at that point. So. Right, so a uh, very good call out from uh, Renai. Um, we'll see if they switch up the stage or if they're going to go straight back to Smashville. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. So this could be the last game of tonight. Of yep. the set. All right. We're not trying to end the stream early. And uh, Myron trying to keep it going. Just another game. Bringing it to a game five. But we're not getting the read right here. Getting the, <laughs> the grab. It looks like he's got a pretty good download on uh, Myron right now. Coming back to the same ledge. Hesitated like he was going to go around and which made Myron move just enough that he could make it back without an edge guard. Throws the Pikmin right back at uh, <laughs> Myron, and that just gets damage. It doesn't stick. Um, but still an interesting thing to do. Calls out a Pikmin with a Pikmin of his own and uses the dash attack to cover some options from uh, Myron right here. Yeah, we're seeing here now, Renai is finally taking the lead in this game. It's not really so much even. Uh, I guess that's just the adaptation he's taken from these last three games now. So, right, definitely and I, starting to figure out uh, Myron's uh, playstyle. Yep, and going deep off stage just to get him. Yep, looking for Trump right there coming back uh, probably, but Myron wisely buffering an option, knowing that he's about to come back to the stage. Covers the ledge with an edge uh, up air right there. Ooh. Yeah, Olimar is sitting duck when it comes to using his up B, and the back throw is going to take it at the ledge. So. Yeah. Already, Renai has a solid lead. He's just got to keep it, play it safe. And yep, and he's going to get behind this uh, oh, tree right here. Almost gets the tree to fall onto Myron, and he gets a great follow-up right there. Neutral air to down air off down throw. Oh, able to make it back. Um, Red Pikmin coming in, and uh, Myron doing a really good job keeping Renai from coming back to center stage, but... Renai looks pretty content to stay where he is, uh, not trying to force anything too much. Finally gets some ground. He gets punished for an unsafe down air, and he's now he's back off stage. Yeah, man, all right. So we saw him take him out with the purple Pikmin last time off stage. And this time he uses a red Pikmin for the F smash, but doesn't get the kill. Keeps the purple Pikmin and hits him off stage again, taking that yes. stock just the same way. Really good stuff from him right there. Gonna set up the uh, trap the ledge, make Myron go over the top of it. Lloyd gets taken out by the purple Pikmin. Down throw coming in for Myron, no follow up off of it. All right, he has a white Pikmin, so he's definitely able to get some more percent on him. Nair not taking the Pikmin off, doing everything he can. All right, yep. falls off the stage. But so can't all this it. percent that he is uh, racking up, uses the net to help grab and take the Lloyd hit. Crosses up his shield with neutral air. And now Myron is back off stage. And Ooh, he gets it with the back air, it. and that's going to do it. Yeah, really good stuff from Myron.